Chair calls Teresa Razo. All right. Um, we show you registered as Teresa Razo on behalf of the Texas American Federation of Teachers and yourself testifying on the bill. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. I am Teresa Razo. I'm a pre-K dual language teacher at New Elementary in San Antonio ISD. I have more than 15 years teaching experience. I am here today to testify on House Bill 2273 relating to the foundation curriculum and the social studies curriculum, which develops each student's civic knowledge and engagement. I, as a teacher, want to instill in our young scholars the importance of good citizenship, but how can I do that if the state of Texas refuses to take care of its own teachers and support staff? The legislature has the opportunity to fund our public schools and has felt its responsibility to do so. Please, fully fund the public schools our children deserve. I am one of those 77 teachers who are thinking about leaving the profession. I cannot afford my regular doctor visits. I have lupus and other health issues and I have to be taking care of myself, but sometimes I have to, I have to be going every three months to the doctor, but I have to either postpone it once a year, twice a year. And that's not good for my health. And I have to be there for my children. My school is understaffed and my workload keeps increasing, especially hearing about school closing, closing and uh, say ISD and letting go of, of PIMS, attendance, librarians, all that, I know that if our attendance truck is gone, we are already doing it. We are already calling parents to register the students. So all that, even though they're letting displaced, I'm sorry, displaced, that responsibility is gonna fall on us. As I said before, I have more than 15 years of experience and I know I'm well worth the race. I have two master's degrees and I'm a candidate for national board certification. I do love my students and I tutor my young scholars on my own time for 30 minutes each day from 7.30 to 8. Why do I do it? Post COVID, our young scholars are coming to us lacking social skills and closing the learning gap is challenging enough, but someone has to do it. I care for my students, but how am I supposed to look them in the eye and teach them about the responsibilities as Texans when you have failed to meet your responsibilities as Texas legislators? Right now, during the session, you have the opportunity to fully fund the schools our children deserve. But instead, your priorities were to discuss whether we should designate a Texas fruit and vegetable day. Please consider giving teachers and all school staff a raise that would do more for our students than any other new curriculum. Thank you. All right, thank you. Members, any questions for this witness? All right, we appreciate you being here. Thank you.